Good morning, Modern Steaders. We're gonna grab the kayak today for the first time this season. We're gonna go out to a pond. We're gonna go catch some trout. We're hoping to catch enough for dinner. Man, that kayak's pretty dirty. We'll have to clean it off when we get to the water. Last time we went out fishing, we caught some smallmouth bass. Today, we're hoping to catch some trout so we can get some dinner in the plate. We've made it to our destination. We're here after the elusive rainbow and brook trout. All right, here's some bullfrogs. We've never been to this pond before. You know, it's 16 acres and it's supposed to be really good for rainbow and brook trouts. So what's the fishing challenge? So whoever gets the first fish, but should it be a good challenge whoever, or a bad challenge? Whoever catches the first trout. So whoever catches the first fish doesn't have to clean them. No, I'm not cleaning one whatsoever. Well then you better catch the first fish. No. That's all it comes down to. All right, I'm gonna go over yonder. The girls are staying over there. We're gonna go over on this side. Let's see who catches the first trout. There's goose poop everywhere. We don't want to step in that. Something nibbled at mine. Oh, bet you it's something small. Something's going after it. I can see it. Nope. Something out there. All right, let's move location a little bit. Let's go over here and see if we can cast out. The water's definitely pretty low. It's been dry here. Got some, uh, we had something. It's tiny, whatever it is. Ooh. Something over here. Must just be some little small, I don't know, I'd love to catch it and see what it is eating the worm. If it's a small sunfish or if they're small trout. Oh, ooh, got one. What is it? A little tiny yellow perch. Look at that thing. She's tiny. Hoping that was gonna be a brook trout. That would have been a good eating size. I have. I just caught a little tiny yellow perch. You got something playing with yours? I know, it keeps biting and it seems like it's on, but then it's not. It's probably just a tiny little perch. Oh, got one. This might be a trout. Nope, now the yellow perch. Look at it. That one's bigger. So you gotta be quick. Quick. Yep. See ya. They're here. I want to catch up. Yeah, basically once they 
Got another one. Now that yellow perch. Look how little it is. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So basically once it bites you just want to deal with it. You want to get a little jerk and see if you can set the hook. And if you don't get them right away, then let it sit. Oh, a nice little yellow perch. I think that's the spot, Livies. Right where you just cast it, yep. That's the juice. It does. I got another little yellow perch. You have to move spots. Look at this one. It's even smaller. Oh. That's what I was thinking is if we had better fish in here we could save this and use this for bait, but not in this pond. Oh. Uh, I think I'm in the juice. You're in the juice? The juicy spot. I'll throw it at you. Go get Livy's. Alright. Okay, let's see how we do. I want to go over to this little island. We can catch the big one out here. We got something. Not sure what. Let's see. Another yellow, tiny yellow sunfish. Ah, tiny yellow perch. I was hoping if we came out here, we'd be catching the trout. See ya. if we're going to be catching the perch. It would be nice if we could catch some big ones. Another tiny little yellow sun. Yellow perch. Watch out for me. Oh, I don't think I can get him. Oh man, I missed it. All right, we'll do a little trolling on our way back and see if we can get any trout. Let me know when you're ready for a shove. Ready? Yeah. Hope I can get back. Hope so. 
just loaded with tadpoles. You coming to pick Olivia up? Need a push? Wait, I need, I need the oars. I need it. You're just gonna sit and be co pilot. Yeah. Wait, if I go this way, yeah. You're gonna be spinning me around. Oh, I'm gonna go that way. This pond is loaded with bait fish. But not any good sized fish yet. All right, let's change up what we're fishing with. Got one, another yellow perch. Another one. This time it's on a lure. I don't think this is a trout pond. I think it's a yellow perch pond. See ya. All I am seeing is yellow perch everywhere. That's what keeps chasing this lure too. So we're gonna move locations. Spots better. All right, let's try this spot. Hopefully, this spot's the juice. So, what's the challenge gonna be at this place? Same challenge or different? No challenge. We didn't get nothing last. No, time. I think the first one to catch just a fish. A fish? Yeah. It is nice and cool. I want to try getting right over by that rock. I have a feeling that's going to be the spot. Got something, but my drag's not set. Oh, we got a bass again. I knew that was the spot. There is a rock bass, Livies. Hey, look at that. Somebody else had caught it. I had a feeling that was the spot, but if you look, there is a little hook line coming out right here. Somebody else had caught this fish. That might make good eating, but it's not what we're going after today. Yep, that's a rock bass. See ya. You got one. Let's see. I think you got a rock bass too. That's a nice one. That's bigger than the one I just caught. Yeah. We doubled up. Yeah, we did. I came over to where you were. Our first doubled up. Here, swing it over here. Nice. I didn't even eat my worm. Actually, look, see, it's been fighting. Yeah. Right there. And right there. Mm -hmm. Want to give it a sniff? No. Come on. It smells like a fish. Help. I think we can double up again. Maybe. That'd be fun. 
double up on trout this time. Yeah. There's more bait fish all right here. Looks good over here. Go for a little walk. Before me and Gina had our first house, we used to go fishing every night. And we had a really good fishing spot over in that location. We would catch so many trout, it's not even funny. Got something. Ah, oh, it's a good one. I don't know what it is, but it's a decent fish. Is that a trout? Nope, that is a smallmouth bass. That's a pretty nice small mouth. Probably about a pound and a half. You ready to go back home? There's a bunch of bait fish right here for you to eat. You good? There you go. Go that way. See ya. Oh, I thought that one was gonna be a trout when it first hit. I thought we had dinner. You're scaring them away. I think I had something right on the bottom right away. Got something, something different. This one is a sunfish. Oh, oh, I got something here. Real, real, real. Yeah, we doubled up. What did you get? Really tripled up. I got the same thing Olivia got. You got a rock bass. They barely got him, really. Look, nothing. All right, Olivia, you fish. Come on. Oh, yeah, you got it? Yeah, but I didn't mean to. Like, <laughs> it just happened. Oh, I was See ya. Got something. I do. I think it's another rock bass. I think we're gonna have to research the old rock bass Aroonies and see uh, how good at eating they are and what's the size limit. See ya. I got a fish on my fishing pole. Yeah. You took my pole and you stole my fish. No, I took your pole and I got my fish. <laughs> I took mom's because look at the mess that line's in. You gonna take that one off? I don't know if I can. I don't like when they move. Is it gonna shut smoke on me? Not you. Ah, I don't think I can do it. Go like this. I can do worms, but I can't do that. Blah. I don't like it moving. First cast. First cast. It's a nice little rock bass. And I just started reeling in because I was going to cast it out again, and then when I started reeling, I had fish. Nice. <clears throat> yeah, she got quite a mess. See ya. Look at all the bait fish. Well, we didn't catch dinner, but that was fun. That was fun. We all caught fish, so. It was nice and cooling too, like yeah. in the water and stuff. Definitely. Did you have a good time fishing? Yeah. It was fun, huh? Yeah. We didn't catch dinner though. So whatever we get for eggs today, we gotta add two to them because I just had to go out and get mom two eggs to make some fresh mayonnaise. Yeah. We just sold all of our eggs. We didn't have any in the refrigerator. 
Ladies hungry. Look at this compost pile. Yeek. What's that? They, split it right in half. they sure did. So how many eggs do you think? Um, I'm gonna say 13, counting the two that we got. I'm gonna say 12, counting the two we got. So 10 in here. I think that there's gonna be 12. Two, four, six, eight, ten, plus the two we got, so twelve. What's it, too hot for you girls? You're hiding in the barn? I can't say as I blame you, it's 92 degrees out. Yeah. So why did you wake up? Oh, I think that happened. Guys all hiding in the shade. Ivy must have been rolling around the wood shavings. Well, they like to sleep underneath the bunk beds and she has like um, a different texture. It's softer, so I think it... Um, collects them? Yeah, it collects. Because if you look at Maggie, her black's covered in them too. Yeah. You ladies are going to be getting a new coop soon. Olivia's finishing up customizing the back. So we can't use it until that part's done. Any eggs today? One. Thank you. You piggies ready? Sound like you're ready for a snack. Don't touch that fence. You know it's on. Don't why do you why do you do that? You're like a daredevil trying to see if you can touch the fence in between the clicks. You know you're gonna hit it one of the times it's gonna be on. So the fence has a pulse, and the pigs like touching it in between. Oh, don't, oh my goodness, you're so daring. What? Ready? It's behind you. Is that a nice cool spot, Pluto? So we open this paddock up for the boy goats and all that grass was tall. All up here, it was tall in that back corner. And they've eaten down probably two thirds of it. You guys enjoying that fresh pasture? Huh? Is that tasty? I know, we gotta train you to, we gotta train you to the electric fence. We're gonna get you out over here soon. Got an energizer showing up in the mail any day now. I'm gonna make potato salad. I want to be able to sit and get cold, chilled in the fridge. I do use a recipe from Pioneer Woman, the perfect, I think it's called the perfect potato salad. And it has pickles and everything in it. So I'm going to do my eggs in the Instant Pot and I'm gonna do eight of them. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use all of them or not. But I'm gonna put a cup and a half of water in here. So I'm gonna stick these all in here. and set the timer. I'm just gonna do four minutes. Going to do my potatoes with peelings on. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. to have a ham roast that we never smoked so it's just really a pork roast so I am making the marinade that I like uh, we all enjoy it and I'm just going to 
double the recipe this time. So this is a half a cup of avocado oil. And then it's going to be four teaspoons of honey. Four teaspoons of that. to do a whole teaspoon of salt. Ish. All right. Just add a little bit in there. We do have our garlic on order so we can get this fall to plant. And hopefully we have a big garlic harvest. And I'm just going to shake this up because I'm going to use my immersion blender to make my mayonnaise for my potato salad. And I don't want to wash it. Mm -hmm. My eggs are done, my potatoes done, everything's ready. So I'm going to put my potato salad together. So here's our potatoes. And I'm going to add my pickles. So I had we had pickles the other night, and I knew I was gonna make potato salad. So and we had used the rest of it. So I just said, let me keep that juice right now because we do use the juice in this recipe. And it does say to use whole pickles, but I just use whatever I have on hand. We really like these. Our garlic uh, dill pickles. I've never known a love so steady. Even gold won't turn your tide. We flow together. Half and a half like an of mayonnaise. Every low and every high. On. And I would have you anyway, dear. Any way your heart could bear. Even if you had to leave me. I'd always be waiting here. Just because it has some stuff in it, I don't want to get it. the next morning. We forgot to turn the camera on while we were eating, but those pork roasts were delicious. Oh, it tasted so good on that pellet grill. The funny thing is, back where I grew up, I used to be a huge bass fisherman. And then when I moved up here, I started fishing and I couldn't find the bass. So me and Gina got into fishing and we used to always go out fishing back before we bought our first house. That was a while ago. We'd go out like every night after work when we got a chance, probably about five times a week. And we would catch so many trout. That's all we could catch up here was trout. And so I just think it's kind of ironic. We started fishing up here again, and the only thing we can catch is yellow perch and a lot of bass. We're going after the trout because we want to eat them, but we can't find them. So we're going to have to work on that. I know it's a little bit of a different video for us today, but it was fun. Leave it in the comments down below. Did you guys like it? Is it something you want to see more of? Or do you like just seeing the videos of us on the homestead and leave our fishing adventures to ourselves? Let us know. But man, we had a good time doing that. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you guys want to watch a fun little short video, about two or three years ago now, we had a little baby beer cub on the homestead. And it was here for a few days. We never saw its mom, so we called Fish and Game. And they ended up coming out and trapping it and then we relocated it. That was a fun little adventure. I'm gonna put that video right here. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey with us. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead and we're hoping to catch some trout and eat some. We're both craving it now. So thanks for coming along and we'll see you right back here in the next video. Bye.